ABC News at Noon starts now with breaking news. Massachusetts Senate President Stan Rosenberg is stepping down temporarily while his husband faces allegations of sexual assault. Rosenberg says he will take a leave of absence while the allegations are investigated. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Anaritis Rodriguez in for Chris McKinnon. The allegations of sexual assault against Rosenberg's husband, Brian Hefner, came to light at the end of last week. Senators will meet today to talk about the investigation. And WBZ's Christina Hager is at the State House now. Christina, what what else have you learned about Rosenberg's announcement to step down? Well, Anna Redis, we just spoke with the, Hel uh, the Senate Majority Leader as she was walking into this closed-door meeting here. We asked her about those reports that uh, Senate President Stanley Rosenberg plans to step down. She said she had seen the same reports, uh, and she plans to talk with us more after this meeting going on right here. Now, according to the State House News Service, this came from a letter that was shared with members of Rosenberg's leadership team at a meeting this morning. The letter saying he will step down during the investigation into allegations of sexual assault against not him, but against his spouse, 30-year-old Brian Hefner. Legislators have gathered and are meeting now to discuss how to go forward with that investigation. This, as we learned from Mass Live reports, that a fifth potential victim has come forward saying Hefner sent a text photo of male genitals to him, and that was in the wake of the Globe reports that three men said Hefner touched their genitals and another man said Hefner kissed him without consent. Here is Senate Minority Leader Bruce Tarr. I will say that the special investigator who I anticipate uh, we will authorize today uh, will have as part of their mission the reporting of any criminal wrongdoing that's uncovered in the course of the investigation to the appropriate prosecutorial authorities. But I can't say that. So a big question now is who will take over the duties of the Senate president while this is going on? And Rosenberg uh, reportedly said in his letter to colleagues that he wants to make sure that the investigation is independent and credible, and that's why he's asking his colleagues to elect an acting Senate president while this investigation is going on. And that's the latest live from the State House, Christina Hager. WBC News. Christina, thank you. We just received that letter that Christina mentioned. Senate President Rosenberg shared this with other senators. In it, he writes, I believe taking a leave of absence from the Senate presidency during the investigation is in the best interest of the Senate. I want to ensure that anyone who wishes to come forward will feel confident that there will be no retaliation. We'll continue, of course, to follow the story and we'll have more updates on CBSBoston.com and on WBZ News at 5.